All right, now we move on to another question. <laughs> We're dealing with the same data that we had from a previous question in which we should have determined that uh, k was equal to 0 0.069. And uh, the units on that I honestly don't remember. But anyway, it asks me what the concentration of A is. So it's asking me concentration of A at uh, 40 seconds. So 40 seconds, what is the concentration of A? at 40 seconds. But 40 seconds is not up here on the table. Beautiful thing about this is if you run an experiment and actually determine these values, you can calculate out K and then determine what the values will be for any time after that without actually measuring them experimentally. Isn't that wild? So it is wild, but it's also true. So I do that by using this equation. The ln of A at 40 seconds, that's this term right here, where I've replaced 40 here for T, is going to be equal to negative K. K is 0 0.069 multiplied by 40 seconds. That's our time T plus the ln of A at time 0. What was the concentration of A at time 0? At time 0, A was 0.2. So I can go ahead and throw that into my calculator. When I do that, the ln of 0.2, sorry, I, I did that. All of this junk here to the right, I ended up getting uh, all of that coming out to negative 4.37. I have now left over A, or sorry, the ln of A sub uh, 40. Concentration of A sub 40, I guess. How in the world do I figure out what this is? And honestly, this is a complicated, dorky-looking term. I'm just going to replace it with the term X. Hopefully we're okay with that. X represents the concentration of A at times 40. How do you figure, get x on one side of the equation and everything else on the other one? You have an, a natural log over here. Well, the way you do that is by raising both sides to the e. And you can find that on your calculator. If you take e and raise it to the ln of x, the e and the ln cancel each other out. If you take e on the other side and raise it to the negative 4.37, you end up getting an answer of 1.27 times 10 to the negative 2 molar.